Hey y'all, Addie's RC here. Uh, just wanted to do a short little video and get after how I did the leaf spring conversion on the new Rock Hobby Mash again. So uh, stick with me. I'm terrible at video, but I'll get the questions answered the best that I can. Thanks. So what we got here is the new Rock Hobby Mash again. Uh, I've already completed the conversion over to leaf springs. You can see there. Um, I'm going to try and walk our way through this and tell you everything that you need, and uh, we'll get started. So it's probably best I show you what you do need and what you don't need. So obviously, uh, the little chimney is a sacrifice, um, but in the good side, I do have a fully linked chass chassis from the Mashigan that I can make a linked chimney. So that's cool. But basically there's everything that I did not use in the conversion. Specifically, this part from the chimney is important because you are going to need to trim off the little ears that house the leaf spring hangers. On the Mashigan chassis, these small pieces are there, but the leaf perch is cut off. So normally they would, uh, where were they? They were kind of in this general position from the Mashigan's uh, servo and motor tray. Uh, you will reuse the Mashigan pro, um, part, but anyway, let's get back to it. So here's the Mashigan after the leaf conversion and the spring over. So if you haven't already done a spring over conversion on the Jimny model, that would be the best place to start. Just do the leaf over conversion. That way you get your, your leafs on top of the axles, um, which gives you the ride height that you need. And once that conversion is done, then the rest is probably pretty simple. So reusing a lot, um, mostly the chassis, um, a few parts need to be swapped out. As you can see, there's the pieces that I cut off of the Jimny uh, front motor tray that I put in there. And you can see they match up pretty well to the Mashigan uh, tray. I just cut that little black piece off that I showed you earlier. I did use the chassis from the Jimny and it does have all the holes to mount up the uh, transfer case from the Mashigan. So it bolts right in, just uses a different set of holes. So I highly recommend just reusing the chassis from the Jimny rather than stripping it completely down and stealing all the parts. You're just gonna create the same thing over again. So there's the rear, the leaf springs over. Um, I did pull out some of the leaf packs just to soften it up. I pulled out more on the front than the rear. I think I'm down to just the main leaf and the main uh, support leaf. I did do the modification that pushes the leaf forward, uh, or pu pushes the axle rather on the leaf forward, uh, one pin hole. And that does help with aligning, yeah, I know it's upside down, but it helps aligning the, uh, the front in the wheel well and it pushes it forward so it actually makes it a little more aesthetically pleasing. Otherwise, it's back too close to the body. Um, the other part that you have to modify, you don't really don't have to modify. You just pull these two screws out on the body mount, flip this over, and it is the same as the Jimny and the Mashigan. You just got to flip it over so that it meets the body where you put the bolts through. The easiest way to go about this transformation is obviously to take the bodies off. For the Rock Hobby uh, Mashigan, it's these two screws. It is these two screws. These two. And all the way up front is these two. And once you do that, um, the body 
separates from the chassis and it's a lot easier to work with and you don't have to do the, all the delicate stuff like I am here where I gotta put down foam so I don't mess up the body before I mess up the body on the trails. Um, but that makes it easier just to do the swaps on both of them. The Jimny is pretty close to the same. Uh, there's, there's not a whole lot of differences in, in how they're mounted up. So one of the final pieces uh, that I discovered when I was putting this back together was servo. So servo placement, servo horn, yes, I did change the servo over to my OG 422 reef servo, but getting that link from the, uh, from the other chassis, uh, it cannot come from the Jimny. It's a different, different length. Uh, and this one is the one that lines up the best. I just route, pulled it out a little bit. You can see the gap in there. I'll get an appropriate link for it made. Um, but there, there's a little bit of, a little bit of geometry issue in there. Um, with that link almost hitting the leaf spring when you're at full. Um, so just be cognizant of that. If it needs adjustment, just make the adjustment. There are quite a few uh, videos out there on the Jimny and how to do the, the spring over conversion. Highly suggest you go find those and start there with the leaf, leaf over conversion and then do the swap over uh, to the mash again. There's also a great video out there. I believe Dixie Land RC did it on how to take the body off and put the seats in and, and goes over a lot of the mash again in detail. Highly suggest you go over there and look at those videos too. Um, I was able to get the Jimny on a nice sale. So financially it made sense uh, or better sense. It doesn't ever make financial sense, but it made better sense for me. Um, on the Black Friday sale, I got it for like a hundred bucks. Um, so it's, it wasn't that big of a sacrifice. If you're going to try and do this piece by piece out of the FMS catalog, it's, it's a lot of fiddly parts. Um, and if you miss something, then you have to wait for reorder and everything else. So I highly suggest if you're going to do this right now, before a kit comes out and this video will become obsolete as soon as FMS releases a leaf kit for this truck. Um, but if, if you have the opportunity and the means to get one of the one six Jimny's, um, that's probably your best bet at, at this point in time is just to have that vehicle. And like I said, uh, at the opening, at least you still have a vehicle. You can, you can still make a fully functional link version Jimny, uh, using the parts, um, that you have left over. You're basically just mixing two trucks. So you'll still have two trucks. You're not ruining anything. So, all right, enjoy and if this goes well, maybe I'll keep doing videos. I don't know. Hard to tell. See you on the trails.